What's good guys, my name is Alek Likitin and you're watching No Limits On and Tech Kitchen with a new lighting setup. I hope you like it. So today I have three different microphones for the test and actually I'm testing out the two microphones. This, uh, this is the Sennheiser MK600 and this is the Rode NTG4 Plus which are great shotgun microphones. And I do have here the Sony a6300 and the Rode uh, VideoMark Pro directly plugged into this camera. So we'll have some reference. And yeah, by the way, I do have the Lavalier mic right here. So this is from uh, Rode Wireless Go and the Airy mic Lavalier mic. So you have four points of reference. And actually I'm in my kitchen, so it's not the best audio quality you know, room, it's quite, you know, echoey if you have a word. So we'll try it out. So guys, let's start the test. And yeah, I do have the most expensive audio recorder for the big XLR ports, the Sony FS7. So one channel is for the Sennheiser. The second one is for the Rode NTG4+. Plus. At first, let's check the Lavalier mic. So now you're hearing the Lavalier mic, Rode Wireless Go with every mic, mic check, one, two. Now you hear the sound from Rode VideoMic Pro through the Sony A6300, mic check, 1-2. Now you hear the Rode NTG4 Plus through the Sony FS7, mic check, 1-2. And now you hear the Sennheiser MKE600 through the Sony FS7, mic check, 1-2. 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 So guys, which microphone sounds the best for you? Please write your thoughts down in the comment section below. And now let's talk a little bit about the microphones themselves. So these are the shotgun microphones. They are all super cardioid pattern, if you know what it means. So they pick the sound from the front of the microphone and they reduce the sound from the sides and especially from the back of this microphone. And it really helps when you are trying to record some interview stuff or you're just running gun documentary stuff and you need to record the only person which is in front who is in front of the camera. Also, those microphones can be used to record some interesting sounds, something like opening the, uh, you know, can of uh, Coke or something like that. So let's watch this part. Which one sounds the best for you in terms of recording the sounds? Maybe it's the Sennheiser, maybe it's the Rode. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And now let's uh, have some fun with ASMR content. So you can use those microphones to record ASMR and you'll need to have something like a small pop filter or the windshield, which comes in the box on both of those microphones. It's made out of foam. So let's put on the Sennheiser, this foam and record some ASMR fun content. Hey, yo, what's good, guys? My name is Alec Nikitin, and you're watching No Limits On. This is the ASMR content, and you need to make your voice as sexy as possible. What's good, guys? My name is Alec Nikitin, and this is the ASMR content with the Rode NTG4+. I hope it sounds nicely. So yeah, those microphones come with the foam, but I didn't attach this one to my Sennheiser. Instead, I most of the time use the dead cat on it to protect it from the wind and actually to reduce the p sounds. You can hear this right now. And with the windshield or with the dead cat, it's much, much better. So let's go outside and test those microphones outside to see how they reduce the sound, how are they in terms of the distance and the overall sound quality. Let's go. 
So guys, now we're going to check outside the both microphones. Now they have no wind protection, so they're just naked. And uh, this is the microphone check from around 15 centimeters from both microphones. Mic check one, two, mic check one, two. And now a meter and a half, mic check one, two, mic check one, two. Around three meters, mic check one, two, mic check one, two. Four to five meters, mic check one, two, mic check one, two. And now we're going to put on some wind protection. So I have the furry dead cat and also I have the, you know, foam from road, which comes in a package like so. So we're, we'll try to change on both of the microphones. I'm around 15 centimeters away from the microphones. Mic check one, two, mic check one, two. Now one meter, mic check one, two, mic check one, two. Around five meters, mic check one, two, mic check one, two. Now let's try from the side with the wind protection. Mic check one, two, mic check one, two. From the back, mic check one, two, mic check one, two. Actually, we do have some wind here, so this is the test for the wind protectors on both of the microphones. So now we've changed the foam is on the Sennheiser, the dead cat is on the road. This is around 15 centimeters from both microphones. Mic check, one, two, mic check, one, two. It's getting windy, so now it's around a meter and a half from both microphones. Mic check, one, two, mic check, one, two. And now around five meters, mic check, one, two, mic check, one, two. So now let's try from the sides. Around one meter away from the side, mic check one two, mic check one two, mic check one two, mic check one two. So guys, this was the part from the outside and now let's talk a little bit about the features of those two microphones. So the Sennheiser microphone is a little bit less weighty. It, it weighs 50 grams less and it's shorter for three centimeters. And actually the diameter is a little bit less. So it's overall a smaller microphone, but it features the double A batteries if you don't have the phantom power, but the Rode uh, NTG4 Plus features the inbuilt battery, which is charging via micro USB, and it can provide you with 150 hours of work time after the full charge. Both of the microphones have an interesting feature, which is called the high pass filter. And if you turn it on, you'll see the results. So let's do it like so. Mic check, one, two, one, two. 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 I'm not really sure if you hear the difference, but they do have those features. And the Rode NTG4 Plus has one more feature, which is the high frequency boost. So let's try this one out. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two. One more interesting feature is called the pad. So you can press a button right here on the microphone, which is the Rode NTG4 Plus, and it will provide you with minus 10 dB gain. So if you are somewhere in the pretty loud and crowded place, you can use this feature and record the very, very loud sound without distorting the quality. Actually, I do feel like a president, you know, all the microphones are staring at me. That's a pretty weird feeling. And also, I do have some earphones right here to hear my voice and to record some ASMR content. No, just kidding. Also, both of the microphones do have some special attachments in the box, but they do not have the hot shoe mount. So this is the separate hot shoe mount, which is the, um, you know, shock mount from Ori company. And I also have the dead cat from Ori company. They're making great products and it's pretty affordable. So if you do buy this microphone and you're planning to use it on your hot shoe or cold shoe, doesn't really matter. You do need to get a special adapter, but you can mount it onto a pretty any stand actually and use it on a stand or on a boom pole. Actually, they have different gains, so I had to apply more gain in the Rode Entergy 4 Plus to get the same loudness as I'm recording this video than on the MKE 600. That is why I guess this will have more noise. So let's listen to the noise floor of both microphones. I will increase the volume so you can see and hear the difference more. Actually, I do have a fridge here, it's turned off, but it still provides us with some, you know, eerie sounds. So you'll be able to hear something at least. So guys, now let's talk about the sound quality. Actually, I do like the sound better from this Sennheiser microphone. It sounds more bassy, more deep, and I do like the sound more. I don't really know why this sounds so plasticky for me 
but it's maybe the feature of this microphone not a disadvantage but if you play with the equalizer you'll get some you know pretty similar results but i actually do prefer this one because i don't have to mess with the equalizer almost almost never so i do recommend this microphone over the Rode ATG4 Plus. And now let's talk prices. So the Sennheiser is now 70 bucks less on B&H than the Rode ATG4 Plus. And it's just the, you know, it's just the steel, guys. This microphone is so much better, at least for me, because I do enjoy using it. It's smaller, it's lighter, it's with better sound quality, I guess. I don't really need the high frequency boost feature here and minus 10 dB feature here it's not for me actually i don't really use it so i'm all in with the sennheiser mac microphone i've been using it for more than three years and i'm in love with this microphone if you're able to get as close to a person talking as possible you will get some outstanding and pretty great results and we're moving on to the quote of the episode and to record the quote we'll do it in asmr style we'll use this foam protector or a pop filter if it wasn't for silence how would we understand the sound? If it wasn't for darkness, how would we understand the light? Natalia Sonseva, the Russian writer. And yeah, guys, by the way, the Rode ATG4 Plus comes in a very nice pouch. Actually, I'll show you this pouch right now. And uh, yeah, it's a great, great feature, but it takes so much space in my uh, carrying case, in my backpack, actually. It's just not for me. And I don't have it here but you'll see the insides and one more great feature from Rode that you are going to have 10 years warranty if you register your product on their website which is great so guys let's uh, go to the question of the episode which microphone do you prefer among those three or actually four with the lavender mic which one do you use and uh, just share your thoughts in the comment section below about the shotgun microphones overall overall Overall, <laughs> this was Alek Nikitin and No Limits On and my tech kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and it was helpful for you. And maybe you'll decide to buy some of those microphones for your video production needs or your audio recording, audio file needs. So take care, guys, and see you in the next video. Bye.